Reba Burns fans can glance at some of the Bard's rare works as they go on display in Glasgow for one day only. Rare manuscripts containing some of his most thought-provoking social commentary will be at Kelvin Hall, Argyle Street, on Burns Day, January 25th. Reba Burns' mural unveiled at SWG3 in tribute to the Bard Holy Willie's Prayer, 1785, and The Ordination, a Scotch poem, 1786 both of which explore the use and misuse of religious power in 18th century Scotland will sit side by side for the first time in many years through this joint display by the National Library of Scotland and the Mitchell Library. Minister for Europe, Migration and International Development Ben McPherson said, this one-day exhibition is not to be missed. Robert Burns' poetry, songs and sentiments on the human condition continue to resonate with people the world over and, some 250 years after he developed his work, this exhibition is an exciting opportunity to see two of those original manuscripts close up. Burns Day is one of Scotland's most well-known and best-loved national days, where Scots and Scots at heart around the world celebrate Burns' poetry and affirm some of our country's most important values, fairness, equality and internationalism. Holy Willie's Prayer was written in 1785 to expose the hypocrisy of the Mouchline Kirk elder, William Fisher. The work is widely considered one of the best examples of Burns's religious satire and was provided from the National Library of Scotland's collections. In addition to the poem itself, Burns' explanation of the background to it will also be on display. The Ordination, a Scotch poem was written in 1786. It is a satire on the appointment of the Evangelical Reverend James McKinley, 1756-1841, to the like Earl, Kilmarnock, reflecting conflicts between the traditional and progressive religious ideas within the community. It was provided by the Mitchell Library, Glasgow Museums and Collections. CLLR David MacDonald, the chair of Glasgow Life, said, Glasgow is home to some priceless treasures, not least our collection of original manuscripts and objects associated with the Bard. Get to see not one, but two original works, albeit for a short period of time, presents an unmissable opportunity on Burns Day. I would urge everyone to get down to the Kelvin Hall and see them for themselves, before enjoying a traditional Burns Night celebration. The display will take place on Friday, January 25th from 11am to 3pm. Entry is free.